The Advanced Filtering dialog for SNP workflows provides flexible options for searching for SNPs of interest or for the genes containing those SNPs. In this example, my SNP project contains human data from three population groups, European, Sub-Saharan African, and Asian. I'm going to use the Advanced Filtering dialog to find the SNPs which are mutating genes differentially between the African and non-African groups. I'll open the Advanced Filtering dialog using the Filter, Filter All command. In this example, I want to filter for two things. Genes with non-synonymous SNPs found in all African individuals, and genes without non-synonymous SNPs found in all non-African individuals. I want to search for genes containing the SNPs of interest, and I want to search all genes. So I'll leave the Search For radio button at the default of Genes, and the Genes drop-down menu at the default of All. Because I want the filtered data to satisfy all my criteria, I'll also keep the default of Match all of the following. I want to compare one group of SNP samples to the others, so I'll leave the first pull-down menu at SNP Sample Group. After that, I need to build a sentence that describes my filter. For this filter, I'm interested in the African group, so I'll open the Experiments pull-down menu, and I'll uncheck all of the boxes that are not in the African group. Next, I'll ask ArrayStar to find genes with SNPs in four out of the four African samples. To set my statistical and other criteria for the filter, I'll select the Choose SNP Criteria button. I want to find non-synonymous SNPs. I want this filter to use the minimum Q call as my criterion, so I'm going to uncheck Filter Minimum P Not Ref and instead check Filter Minimum Q call, and I'm going to change the minimum Q call to 10. Now I can click OK to return to the filter dialog. To add the second filter, I just click on the plus sign to the left of the first filter. This time, I'll set up my filter requirements to locate genes without non-synonymous SNPs found in all non-African individuals. That means I need to uncheck the African boxes and leave the others checked. Then I'll look for the genes with SNPs in exactly zero of the checked experiments. Again, I'll select the Choose SNP Criteria button. This time, my only criterion is that the SNPs be non-synonymous. Now I'm ready to click the Search button. And notice that the Search Results pane shows 34 genes that meet both of my criteria. To save these genes as a set, I just click on the Remember Results as a Gene Set tool. In the Notes section of this dialog, I can review the criteria that I used to set these filters. So after I saved the set, the set list view was displayed automatically. I can now view my saved SNPs in the SNP table by clicking the link in the Actions section. If you have further questions about filtering in ArrayStar, or questions about any of our other products, please visit us at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.